Pistons looking to add to their young core after finishing last in the NBA season last season. All right. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. The NBA Draft is tonight with the first round airing live on 7. Sports Director Brad Galley is with us. And Brad, how are we expecting this to go? <laughs> Trades are always an option okay. when Troy Weaver is involved in three years on the job <laughs> with the Pistons. We've seen it happen a lot on draft night. The Pistons tonight, we know trades can never be ruled out of the equation. And just hours to go until the first round, Detroit is very much a part of some of the biggest rumors in the NBA. Zion Williamson, well, New Orleans has been leaking its interest in fielding offers for the former number one overall pick. The Pistons have selections 5 and 31 tonight, but here's what Weaver has done in his three drafts as Pistons GM. In 2020, he entered the night with one pick. He ended up making four trades to acquire three selections, including two additional picks in the first round. 2021, that's when they drafted Kate Cunningham with the top pick, but Weaver didn't rest. He also made a trade just before the draft and ended up making three second round selections. Last year, 2022, Weaver was busy again, trading Jeremy Grant before the draft, then making a draft night deal to get Jalen Duran. So tonight, adding talent at five makes sense for this young core, but if a trade is there, Weaver said he's prepared to make it. Gina Trotman joins us live from the Pistons Performance Center. Gina, what's the word at team headquarters just a couple hours to go? Hey Brad, right behind me across the gym right there, the room with the railing and the blocked off windows, that is the war room. That is where in just a couple of hours, Troy Weaver will be making his deals, his trades and his drafts. Now last year, like you said, they went at number five. This year, it is okay if you are a fan to feel a little bit let down after another draft lottery, but Weaver is adamant that there's still a ton of value even down at five. Now last year is a proving example. They went five last year in selecting Jaden Ivey and he had a solid rookie season and will be a big piece of this process that the Pistons are calling the restore. He made second team all rookie alongside the last year's other draft splash in Jalen Duran. Weaver said he's going to make a big swing. As of now, that's at number five. These top five, top seven picks are valuable because it's unpredictable after uh, after one. So we feel good about the, the, the value of five, definitely. And there's been a lot of banter and talk back and forth on, on a lot of picks. Feel good being at five and the value there. So Brad, you broke down what moves Weaver made last year, and it was in this very room, the media room at the practice facility, that Troy Weaver walked in this room and sat at this table right behind the camera he sat down, laid back, was exhausted, but he smiled because he said he wasn't done. So now we wait to see if that is the version of Troy Weaver that we will see tonight. We'll have more coming up during sports at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Detroit, Gina Trotman, 7 Action Sports. Gina, thanks so much. And everyone around this time of year becomes a draft expert. I yeah. like to, if they move up and get this guy, if they trade back and move these guys. Tonight, whoever they pick, we're going to be doing a big explanation of who they are because it's a lot of guys with very little experience, either in college, overtime elite, the G League. There's a lot of options out there, but a lot of guys with potential that's really untapped. So, so really the wild card is Troy Weaver. Yes, as always, <laughs> it's proven he's gotten some young talent, but it's the time for that team. Glenn, as you said yesterday, yeah. they got to take that next step, and they got to make it soon. Yeah, yeah, and he's got the poker face, meanwhile. So always. Hopefully, great mind at work, you know. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, Brad. Mm -hmm.